In this section, we have learned about the physical factors that bring about time dependency in a mechanical system's response. We looked at a few examples to understand how these factors make a system time dependent and how a time domain analysis is useful in studying their behavior. We have also seen how a system's response is interpreted from an energy standpoint and the recommendations that an analyst can use in deciding whether a time domain analysis is needed for studying a system. This discussion adds the vital element of how time can become a physical factor in analyzing mechanical systems and guides the engineer in achieving designs with better performance and durability which are not just momentary but over a desired amount of time. With this, we can conclude this section.